So if you're wondering, what does it really look like to put on the whole armor of God? What does that really look like? Because when we're looking at our nurses and our doctors and all of the healthcare workers, and they're putting on all of these equipments, we can identify what those equipments are, right? Like we know, okay, this is a face shield. This is a mask. This is a gown. You know, what does it look like from the spiritual perspective? And I'm going to be reading from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Verse 14, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So here we see two armors. We have our loins that are girt about with truth, and then we also have the breastplate of righteousness. So what is our loins? So I did a little bit of research some time ago, and our loins are basically like our midsection area. Um, where you would put a belt, right? And this passage of scripture was giving us an illustration of like a soldier going for war. And the soldier will put on a belt and they put the belt around their waist, right? And that belt creates a support. It gives them support as they put on their trousers and their top, right? It gives them that support. And it is so important for them to have that support because if they don't have that support, as they go out to war, their pants are gonna fall down, okay? So as a believer, it's so critically important that we are girded about with truth. And what does that look like? That means that on a daily basis, we are holding on to the truth of God's word. We're allowing the truth of God's word to give us that spiritual support, that spiritual um, backbone, so that as we go out into the world, we're not deceived by all of these other philosophies and all of these other doctrines that are out there. So gird yourself, gird your spiritual Self with the truth of God's word. The next thing is the breastplate of righteousness. As Christians, righteousness is our lifestyle, okay? Righteousness is daily decision to be, you know, to choose integrity over deceit, to choose lying over truth. You know, righteousness is a daily lifestyle. The Bible says, let your righteousness be visible. Let it be a breastplate. Think about a soldier that's going for war. They have a breastplate, right? And you can see that, like that's the protective gear, right? And so as a believer, righteousness is our lifestyle and let that righteousness be fully seen let people see Christ in you verse 15 and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace so this is third armor and the Bible says that your feet may be shot with the preparation of the gospel. That means that every time that you leave your household, that you are prepared to share the gospel of Christ. Do you know your feet, wherever your feet go, you must be ready for the gospel to also be declared and for the gospel to be preached. So equip your feet with the gospel of Christ, the gospel of peace. Verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. It says, take that shield of faith. The soldier holds a shield like this right and they block all of the darts and all of the spears that are coming at them as you go out into the world you're going to come across things that are going to challenge your faith you know things that are going to weaken your faith and he says allow that your faith to be like a shield to push and to bounce back all of those lies of the enemy. So take your faith in Christ. Stand upon the promises of God. Read the word of God because that is how faith is developed. When we read and we meditate upon the word of God and that faith then becomes a shield with which we can quench all of the fiery darts of the enemy. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. It says the helmet of salvation. That's a protective gear. Our salvation is a protective gear. And it's important to have that helmet. If you don't have that helmet, you're going to have a head injury. When you wear your helmet of salvation, you're protecting yourself from spiritual death. Wear your salvation every single day. Make sure that you have that helmet of salvation, that your salvation is visible. We can see it. Make sure you have it on every single day. And if you're not saved, it's an opportunity for you to commit your life to Christ so that you can get that spiritual protective gear here that will keep you from being injured and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god you know every single day in the morning you know read the word of god meditate on that word memorize specific verses of scripture as you're walking out into the world one of the things i do is i have daily verses and i love my daily verses because it prepares me for my day sometimes like as i'm in the day maybe i'm afraid of something and then instantly because i meditated on a specific verse that deals with fear in the word of god 
God, the Holy Spirit brings it to my remembrance and I'm able to take that word and say, yes, Lord, thank you. And immediately my fear just disappears. And so hold on to that word. That word is like a sword. When the enemy comes with lies and, and things, and says things that are contrary to the word of God and contrary to what God has said about you, you can use that word to pierce those lies and the enemy will flee. Verse 18, it says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Prayer is so important. Prayer is like the icing on the cake. You know, after we have put all of these gear on, then the Bible says praying always. You know, you have to always be in prayer because when you pray, you are communing with God. The Lord reveals great things unto you. The Bible says, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you have not known. The way that we call unto the Lord is when we pray. You know, when we call on heaven, when we call in the name of the Lord and he's ready, he says, I will show you great and mighty things. So allow prayer to be a daily habit. In the morning when you wake up, you pray. In the evening before you go to bed, you pray. In the afternoon, pray always, the Bible says, throughout the day, pray, talk to the Lord, like tell him everything. Like if you're going through something, you know, painful, like tell him, Lord, I just, I'm having this pain right now, or I'm scared right now, Lord, what should I do? I have a decision to make. What should I do right now, Lord, help me. Throughout the day, talk to him. He wants to hear from us so badly. <laughs> um, and so pray always. Alrighty, y'all, I hope and I pray that you understand Understand what it means to put on the whole armor of God and as you're going out I pray that you'll be able to um, fully equip yourself and allow your faith to be seen allow your faith to um, be fully manifested to people that you come in contact with and um, I pray that you will truly 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 walk with the Lord and allow him to refine you and change you and um, strengthen you as well and my heart certainly goes out to uh, the families that have lost loved ones, um, I, the healthcare workers, all kinds of healthcare workers, and the people out there in the world that are performing one service or the other. These are the people that are risking their lives for us. And so my prayers definitely are going out to you all. And um, until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.